for her Vancouver Point Grey. Honourable Speaker, it's not just uh, small and medium-sized BC wineries that are concerned with the way the Liberals have rolled out this plan. Cities across the province have problems with it too. If a grocery store wants to sell wine, many of the licenses this government has issued will allow them to sell wine even if it's right next door to an existing liquor store. Mm -hmm. Now, Many cities and businesses are rightly worried that increasing the number of locations that people can buy alcohol at <coughs> will hurt existing businesses as well as public health. Will the new minister listen to these concerns and put a hold on this plan as the coalition asks until she addresses the problems that have been raised, or will she say it's my way or the, the highway? Minister for Small Business. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker, and through you to the member opposite. Honourable Speaker, this is about ensuring that we are providing opportunities for our BC wineries to have more shelf space so that their product can have the opportunity for consumers across British Columbia. <laughs> Honourable Speaker, if the member opposite is saying that now they do not support those 10,000 jobs in the agricultural sector, Honourable Speaker, I wish that the member to stand up. We've heard, Honourable Speaker, that the member opposite do not support LNG. They do not support Site C. Uh, last year, we heard they do not support tourism development in the Kootenays. Honourable Speaker, do, are we hearing that they do not support the wine sector and agricultural opportunities in British Columbia? Vancouver Point Grey on a supplemental. Honourable Speaker, 95% of BC wineries are small and medium-sized wineries. These are the employers of the employees that the minister is talking about. This is the message that we're bringing to the minister that she is demonstrating this government will ignore, which is incredibly problematic. Now, if this government had worked with those wineries and had worked with cities before introducing this plan, maybe there'd be more than two stores in the province selling BC wine. But they didn't. They held the photo op first, and then they did the consultation. It's the wrong way around. Will the government commit to talking to these employers, to talking to small businesses, to talking to cities before moving ahead with this plan that they are opposing. Minister for Small Business. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. And, and let me uh, repeat uh, what I earlier had the opportunity with great pride to say that uh, we have, uh, with this new model, 700 small and medium-sized winery labels in a store that sells more VQA wine than anywhere else in British Columbia. Honourable Speaker, this is providing greater access, greater access for our wine products, um, those, small, those small wineries that perhaps previously did not have the opportunity to showcase their product to British Columbians. Honourable Speaker, this is the work that we are undertaking. Honourable Speaker, constituents in every single one of your writings when we did the consultation said they wanted more opportunity. Honourable Speaker, we're delivering upon that. 